Hey there everyone, welcome to my review of Injustice Gods Among Us, chapter 30, or issue 30. Uh, today's Tuesday, so you know it's Injustice uh, Tuesdays. Fuck it, let's call it that. So of course this uh, comic book's being written by uh, Tom Taylor with art by Bruno Redondo. So let's get into the review. So this is actually really interesting because this issue is six years ago. So it has nothing to do with the timeline that we have right now. Because last issue, uh, what happened, fucking... I think it was the death of... The the death, I'm putting up quotes. The death of Martian Manhunter. But yeah, things got intense on the last issue. But uh, this issue really wants to tell a story about who Superman used to be. You know, before all of this crazy shit happened in the first issue of, uh, you know, Injustice. And I really like this. Uh, I'll dive into the story. Uh, there's this kid that's riding his bike in Metropolis. And uh, he gets into an accident. And he basically hits a rock. Falls down flat on his face. Breaks his bike. And we see the whole story through his perspective. And we see that he meets up with Superman. And Superman, you know, he's being, you know, he's being Superman. He's being an awesome guy. Like, are you okay? You know, being, a, being this, the... You know, the nice-ass person he is, you know. Awesome Superman, you know, just helping people out, being a superhero. And uh, he's like, I'll fix your bike. He takes it, doesn't work, and he's like, you know what, I'll just, I'll just, gi I'll give you a lift to the house. And I mean, who the fuck doesn't want to get a lift with uh, Superman? I mean, fucking flying and shit? That's like the ultimate carpool. Think about it. Superman can just hoist like 20 people, even more in his bike. I'm getting out of, I'm <laughs> getting offhand. Anyways. So once he gets to his house, um, uh, this kid is uh, gets kid gets dropped off, and then of course Superman has the call of action, and he goes to uh, stop some, uh, I believe some muggers probably, but they were shady. There were guys in like ski masks, and they had uh, guns that weren't loaded. He's like, no, 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 like, <laughs> fucking swipe or no swiping, and then and then the guys with the guns are like, oh man, he's like, I guess we'll go. And I was like, damn right he is. But after that, we see, uh, we kind of get into, uh, you know, Superman and Lois's relationship. Uh, they meet up earlier in the comic book, and um, we got to see kind of like what their life was before this. Like, it's, it's really interesting because even Superman, you know, being like this superhero, he still needs to, you know, pick up milk. It's really a testament of, uh, you know, how, uh, how hu human, you know, Superman is. And uh, after that, of course, uh, the Superman, you know, feel-good train keeps on going, and he uh, buys the kid a new tire. He meets with his mom because that kid's mom didn't didn't believe whatever the fuck he said. He's like, "Oh yeah, Superman bent bent it out." She's like, "Yeah, my kid's fucking crazy." But uh, after that, once uh, we see him give uh, the bike, it cuts back to now, and then we really get. Uh, we see like uh, that kid as uh, as an older person. I think he might be in college, uh, but he's saying how uh, he wish he really misses Superman and he's not the man he was. Um, he really misses uh, the quote, the man of yesterday. And I think if they really just uh, cut that part out and not really depressed me about uh, you know Superman being the villain in this comic book, um, that would have been better. But still, I know what they're trying to do with this issue. They're trying to show basically the opposite of what Superman is doing in this uh, in this old storyline versus the new storyline. So uh, I definitely did really like this issue. You know, it's Superman being Superman. That's always nice to see. Uh, it, it was kind of a really nice break between the uh, the huge like end game storyline we got in the uh, other chapter. So it's nice to kind of dial it back and you know. It's a ref it's a reflection comic, or chapter, and uh, I really appreciated that. Uh, I'm gonna give uh, Injustice Gods Among Us a four out of five. Uh, a plus side is also the art was really good. Uh, definitely solid. I enjoyed it. So you should definitely pick up this chapter. You know, it's kind of a nice uh, cool down from what we got in the other Injustice uh, chapters, cause things were fucking heating up, literally with Martian Manhunter. <laughs> Uh, I'm an awful person.